Hello class! Welcome back to our channel. So for today's video, our topic is all about continuity on a closed interval. Okay, so this video guys is a continuation ng ating previous video about continuity of a function. Okay, so this time itetest natin uh, instead of a given number, itetest natin yung ating function kung continuous ba doon sa ating given closed interval. Okay, so let's start. Continuity on a closed interval. So a function f of x is said to be continuous on a closed interval a to b if, so may tatlo tayong conditions na dapat masatisfy dito. Okay, so first condition natin guys, it is continuous on the open interval a, b. So mamaya ipapakita ko kung paano nyo ba itatas yan. Okay, usually gagamit tayo dito guys ng table of values. Okay? So next, next condition natin, it is continuous from the right at A. So dito guys, may given number na tayo. So ibig sabihin, i-apply natin yung mga conditions na ginamit natin doon sa ating previous video. Ano-ano ba yon? So ang first condition natin dito is, i-check natin if f of A exist. Okay? So next, i-check natin kung yung limit ng ating function as x approaches a from the right exist. Then pangatlo, i-check natin kung yung limit ba ng ating function as x approaches a from the right is equal doon sa ating f of a. Okay? So next, yung third condition natin dito sa ating topic is it is continuous from the left at b. So, same procedure yung gagawin natin dito sa pangalawa yung pangatlo. No? So, sa pangatlo, i-check natin kung yung f of b ba is nag -e exist Pangalawa is yung limit ba ng ating function as x approaches b from the left exist Then, pangatlo, kung yung limit ba ng ating function as x approaches b from the left is equal doon sa ating f of b. Okay, so medyo mahaba yung ating solution this time. So let's try example number 1. So determine whether the following function is continuous on the given interval. So ang given function natin this time, we have a radical function. f of x is equals to square root of 9 minus x square. Okay, so ang given uh, closed interval natin is negative 3 comma 3. So, pwede na nating ma-identify yung ating a and b. So, in our case, ang a natin is equals to negative 3. Then, ang b natin is equals kay positive 3. Okay, so, itas na natin guys kung masasatisfy ba natin yung tatlong condition natin. So, ang first condition must be continuous in an open interval a comma b. Pag sinabi natin open interval guys, Yung, yung a and b natin dito which is negative 3 and 3 is hindi siya part ng ating um, values okay, so ibig sabihin pag nag-assign tayo guys ng values ng x pwede tayong mag-start dun sa number uh, malapit kay negative 3 so dito, ang ginamit ko is negative 2.5 pwede rin namang negative 2.9 okay so, after negative 2.5, ang, ang lagay ko is negative 2, 0, 2, up to 2.5. Okay, so again, um, nag-start tayo malapit kay negative 3, then nag-end tayo malapit kay positive 3. So, hindi natin i-include si negative 3 and 3 dito. Okay, yun yung ibig sabihin ng open interval. So, ngayon, pag nakapag-assign uh, nakapag na kayo ng values ng x, Isa substitute natin tong x guys isa-isa dito sa ating given function para ma-test kung nag -e exist ba yung ating um, y, yung ating f of x. So pag nilagay natin si negative 2.5 dito sa ating function, so magkakaroon tayo ng square root of 9 minus negative 2.5 square. So ang sagot natin dyan is 1.66. Okay? Sa negative 2 naman, so, we have 9 minus negative 2 square. So, magiging 9 minus 4 yon, Tama? Then, that is equals to 5. 
ang square root ni 5 is 2.24. Next, 0. So, lagay natin dito guys. So, that is 9 minus 0 square. So, that is 9. Then, square root ng 9. So, meron tayong positive 3. So, naintindihan ba guys kung paano natin ginagawa yung y values natin? So, as you can see, from negative 2.5 up to 2.5, is nag -e exist yung ating f of x. So, that means the function is continuous on the open interval negative 3 to 3. Okay? So, second condition natin, must be continuous from the right at a. Okay? So, ano ba yung a natin dito? Negative 3. So, try natin. So, ang una yung gagawin is i-substitute si negative 3 dun sa ating function. Okay, ito yung f of a natin or f of negative 3. So, pag sinubstitute natin yan, meron tayong 9 minus negative 3 square. So, yung negative 3 square, that is 9. So, 9 minus 9, that is 0. So, square root of 0, meron tayong 0. Okay? So, next, check natin yung limit ng ating function as x approaches negative 3 from the right. So, substitute natin si negative 3 dito. So, meron tayong uh, negative 3 squared. That is 9. Then, 9 minus 9, meron tayong 0. So, square root ng 0 is also 0. Tama? So, dito guys, makikita natin na yung limit ng ating function as x approaches negative 3 from the right is equals doon sa ating f of negative 3. Pareha silang 0. Tama guys? So, therefore, it is continuous from the right at negative 3. Okay? So, next, third condition natin, it must be continuous from the left at B. Okay? So, ang B natin this time is positive 3. Tama? So, from the left tayo. Ngayon, itest muna natin si f of B. Yun yung ating f of 3. So, substitute natin dun sa ating function. So, that is 3 squared, that is 9. Then, 9 minus 9, that is 0. So, ang f of 3 natin is equals to 0. Next, the limit ng ating function as x approaches 3 from the left, okay, is also 0. Okay, pag in-evaluate natin to, 3 squared, that is 9. Then, 9 minus 9, that is 0. Then, square root of 0, 0. So, in our case, yung limit ng ating function as x approaches 3 from the left is equals doon sa ating f of 3. Pareha silang 0. Tama? So, therefore, it is continuous from the left at 3. Okay? So, dito guys, so since the three conditions hold, the function is continuous on the interval negative 3, 3. So, ito yung ating conclusion. Nakuha? So, kung itetest natin yung ating, uh, kung i-examine natin yung ating graph. So, as you can see, ito yung graph ng ating function square root of 9 minus x square from negative 3 to 3. So, nag-start tayo kay negative 3, then papunta kay positive 3. Okay, so makikita nyo dito na yung ating graph is unbroken curve. So, that means it is a continuous. Okay? So, continuity of a polynomial, rational and square root function. So, ito lang yung mga dapat yung tandaan. So, number one, a polynomial function is continuous at every real number. Okay, again, pagka yung ating uh, function is polynomial function, it is continuous everywhere. So, ibig sabihin, from negative infinity up to positive infinity. Okay? So, number two, a rational function is continuous at every number in its domain. Pag sinabi natin rational function, ito yung, uh, usually, ito yung mga naka-fraction form. Okay? May mga denominator. So, sino nang ba yung hindi included sa domain ng ating rational function? Uh, usually, Ang restriction natin doon is yung value ng x na magiging 0 yung ating denominator. Okay? So, bawal siya maging 0 kasi nga, maaaring magkaroon tayo ng indeterminate or uh, undefined. Tama? 
So number 3, okay, square root function is continuous at every number in its domain. Okay, so try natin another example. Determine whether the following function is continuous on the given interval. So ang given function natin is a polynomial which is x squared plus x minus 2. So kagaya ng sinabi natin kanina, pagka yung function natin is a polynomial, ibig sabihin continuous everywhere. No? So continuous yung ating um, function at every real number. Okay, so the function is continuous at negative infinity comma positive infinity. Okay? So, this is the end of our video. I hope uh, naintindihan nyo guys yung ating uh, lesson. So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!